Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with another episode of How to Space Engineers. And today we are going to talk about character skins. So let's take a look at that right now. All right, so with character skins, you can go right into your game menu once you load up the game or go into med bay um, so you can see, check out your characters from um, skins and look but just you know quickly to go through it we can just go right into the character menu here and it will show you pretty much how your character looks like and you can always move him along as you see here so here on the screen you will see your characters available skins that you're currently using you can see the, all the skins that you currently have and also tool skins that you may have and so forth but did you know you can actually recycle some of these items to generate tokens for you to roll for new skins so generally you may have some duplicates like i have here so i have badger gloves badger gloves and these are some things you can recycle by um, as you see here if you're using a mouse by right clicking to sell or recycle um, and then you get a token and then when you get tokens you can use those tokens to redeem for random skins so generally when you're looking at the the box itself for each item they are marked in different colors what that color really means is that there are different types of level of, of rarity for those skins so you'll see here uh some gray borders which is like the badger boots and things like that you have green gold so each one of them is a little bit different in terms of the rarity so just to go through the list you'll see here common is gray uncommon is green unusual is blue rare is purple and exceptional is gold like these here the chef uniforms um, most of these may have been gotten from like dlcs and things like that but you can retrieve most of these skins in various ways and i'll talk about that in a second but first things first if you have duplicates like i do here and you need tokens better best thing to do is actually right click recycle those tokens and it'll make sure it'll ask you to make sure if you want to do that or not and in this case i do want to do that so now I'll get one token for the badger gloves so when you sell them or recycle them for tokens there is a, a bit of a token reward for each one so if i right click on a, on a gold one is 625 tokens versus a com uncommon one you have one token so the breakdown as you're going to see here is going to be recycling common is one token uncommon five tokens unusual is 25 tokens rare is 125 tokens and exceptional is that 625 as you see here in order to craft them there's different levels of tokens you need to get that random crafting of a skin so generally first things first is go to recycling so when you're in recycling you see down here how many tokens you have i currently have 42 and you can select the item rarity whether it's common uncommon usual rare and exceptional as we mentioned before and it'll show you down here how many tokens it's going to take to craft it so common is four tokens as you see just by looking at it and then uncommon is 20 tokens unusual is 100 rare is 500 and the last one exceptional is 2500 tokens and that <laughs> takes a long time to get all right so as I mentioned before, you need tokens, start recycling the uncommon stuff that you don't need for one token and of course any duplicates that you don't need as well. If you have gold items and they're duplicates, that's even better because you can recycle them for a good chunk of tokens. It's been quite some time since I've been doing this so I haven't really recycled a lot of my stuff. So you'll see that I have a lot of uncommon stuff but if I, re if I recycled all these eventually I'll probably have a little bit under 100 um, tokens because I don't have any duplicates of the more uncommon stuff and, and above so let's see how that works well looks like I have two glamorous glamour helmets they are uncommon so it's gonna give me a little bit more tokens it's gonna give me five tokens basically so let me so let me quickly do that and recycle most of my uncommons maybe even comments any other duplicates all right so I finished recycling most of my uncommons and I got 84 tokens total. So that wasn't too bad. So that's just generally all the uncommon stuff, whether it's the characters, helmet, suit, gloves, boots, 
and also the tools which I got rid of. So the next thing to do of course is to get rid of some duplicates and sometimes you may have duplicates for you know maybe even un uh, exceptional stuff or uncommon and things like that so best way to do that of course show only duplicates during recycling to see if you have any. So it looks like I don't have any for my welders, none for my grinders, none for my drills, and none for the rifle as well. So no duplicates in tools, but let's check out if there's any duplicates in the suits and everything like that as well. So perfect. So we have two things here that are duplicates. So it looks like the wood suit and the glamour helmet. Uh, these are duplicates and just by clicking them, I just already changed my character's um, look, which is not exactly what I wanted, but yeah. You have two glamorous helmets, so if we go to coloring, you'll see there's a glamorous helmet, glamour, glamour helmet, not glamorous, glamour helmet, glamour helmet, helmet. And we should have two wood suits somewhere in here. So whatever that looks like right here, wood suit. That looks interesting, kind of, <laughs> in some ways. But yeah, because I'm wearing them, it's no, it's no longer showing recycling. So let me change up my guy back um, to what it's wearing previously. All right, so now we're back wearing the prisoner suit. And as you see here, these are duplicates. So the glamour helmet, which is recycled for five tokens, which let's do that. And the wood suit, I have a duplicate as well. And that's going to go for another five tokens. So let's get rid of that. So now I have a total of 94 tokens that I can use if I want to craft a new skin for whatever it may be, either a tool or a character skin and things like that. So if we really wanted to, uh, you can get rid of some things that you just don't like. So let's just say for an example, uh, if you don't like the look of maybe something crazy in terms of like something that's exceptional. So if you don't like the ghillie suit for whatever reasons, because you know, it, it just doesn't suit your style and you don't like it too much, you can get rid of it for 625 tokens if you like. Ideally, I wouldn't do it because I think this one ca may have came with um, a DLC. And since you pay for that DLC, you're, you're pretty much wasting money in that sense. So you probably don't want to do that. But for the most part, on the recycling, um, you can choose which, whatever one you can afford. So let's say I'm, I'm four off for a unusual um, skin. And I just need six more tokens, to be honest. So right now, I can't afford that. But maybe I'll go for an uncommon, which is 20 tokens, which is the greens. So... I really do want to try my luck with a unusual. So what I'm going to do is going to probably find something that I'm just probably never going to use and just recycle it anyway. So that's probably going to be some kind of tool. All right, perfect. So doing that, I should have exactly 100 tokens. So I am going to try my luck, go for unusual because that's all I can afford right now and craft a new skin. All right, so I am going to craft and unusual for 100 tokens right now. And what I got is the prisoner gloves, which is actually really perfect because that is the one thing I didn't have for my completed suit. So that's completely awesome. Wasn't thinking that was going to happen, but it did. So now I finally completed my suit, which was the prisoner uh, suit or skin by having the gloves, by just rolling for that rarity, the common item, spending 100 tokens. So that was well worth it. And that's pretty much how you get new skins in a recycling way. But of course, you can always get new skins by trading them with your friends through Steam or selling them through the Steam market as well and purchasing them through there. But of course, if you did not want to go that route, similar to me, because I don't feel like trading with friends. I don't have a lot of friends who play Space Engineers and trading with the market what you also can do is actually load up a game and of course pick up skins through unknown signals so let me show you some of that really quickly so generally again as i mentioned before if you want to get new skins without going to the market trading with friends what you can really do and also aside from buying dlcs what you can actually do is wait for these unknown signals and just in time just queued in here comes an unknown signal that's dropping to Earth. If you're in space, it'll float in space. But if you're in a planet that has atmosphere or even in the moon, you'll see it slowly drop down into the planet or moon in that case. And when they drop down, usually 
they do have parachutes. So they'll launch the parachute as soon as it gets very close to the ground, as you see here. I think you see the parachute right there. And you, what you really need to do is to get as close as you can to it and hit that button that's available. So I just ran right into it. So the button that you're going to see is right there. So if you had your GPS marked on it, uh, it should be automatically marked. And it says unknown signal. So once you hit the button here, it's going to say try your luck and get a new special item, which is the skins. And once you hit OK, it'll tell you exactly what you're going to get. So now it looks like I just got a zebra grinder, which it tells you to go visit your medical room to change your appearance and everything like that. So I got a zebra grinder and it shows you on border it's green. So that is uncommon. So if I have a duplicate of this, I'm just going to recycle it um, to get more tokens, basically. And of course, the best part of these unknown signals, you can always disassemble them for parts and stuff like that. So there's the two different types of unknown signals. One is the one you just saw. That's the regular unknown signal, which is more the weaker signal. So, so usually it's not too far from where it's going to land in front of you. So I think the furthest I've seen was probably without moving, of course, was about three kilometers away or close to four. But there is another one called the strong unknown signal. So the strong unknown signal, which it's going to be really hard for me to actually have it like pop up in front of me, like the unknown the previous unknown signal. But that one is a stronger signal. It's usually far away. I think I've seen 70 kilometers to 100 kilometers away. And those are great because they give you a better chance for a higher quality or higher rarity type of skin. So I would try my best to always get those as soon as possible. But yeah. This is definitely a way to get new skins for new tokens and whatever the case may be. However you want to handle those skins. Well, like I said, you can sell in the market, trade it with friends, or just recycle it for tokens and, ha and roll for those types of skins. So what you can really do is just like start up a new game. Even in creative mode, you can sit here for a while and start collecting those skins and things like that. But of course, that's not going to be fun. And it's quite a grind. So I don't really focus on getting those skins. I just play my game, play my survival adventures, and probably get those unknown signals like here and there and w when it pops up so then I can just grab those skins just in case. So it can take a long time to roll for a lot of stuff. So skin wise, your better bet is to really honestly maybe sell and buy new skins and trade them with friends. Um, but if you, don't, if you don't have access to do, do that, the way to go is going to be your unknown signals. So now in multiplayer, each player has their own unknown signal, except for the strong unknown signal, where it will be automatically popped into your GPS so you can see it. So if you have two players on a server, you're going to see your own weak unknown signal and the other players can see their weak unknown signal. And globally, you'll both see the strong signal itself, but the weak one where it's individualized, it doesn't mean you can't steal theirs if you just visibly see it yourself. So if you just see it drop, you know exactly where it is. It's not marked in GPS. You can actually go to it, hit the button and collect that skin. If there is a skin, sometimes you don't get some, you don't get a skin at all, but that is a tricky way to do it, but you can do it. If that person, whether it's your friend or whatever, whoever is on that server, and didn't collect that unknown signal, you pretty much can't steal them from them. All right, so another cool way to get new skins instead of getting unknown signals, selling tokens, recycling tokens and everything like that. If you are on the Steam Workshop, you can actually download skins through mods. And to do that, of course, you need to make sure to install those mods into your specific game. So if you're in the mod section, of course, all you would have to do is put these mods on the right hand side by selecting it and pushing it over to activate those mods. So some mods I saw is this tungsten mod, battle suit mod, uh, just to kind of do a quick run through of how that may look like. All right, so I loaded up the game and installed the mods. And if we jump into our medical bay, we'll see the player models is where the mods are obtained. So initially you're going to have the male astronaut and the female astronaut skins by default. That's the player model. And then you add the mods and you're going to have these here. So if we're looking at the female armor tungsten, 
which is created by CJ. And I'll link the description to the workshop and the mod itself directly in the description below. It does come with Prometheum and Tungsten player model. So if we switch to the Prometheum model, it's going to look like this. My standard color is white. So the model itself is going to look like this with some animations and things like that too. So jumping, crouching, um, grinding, I think welding and everything like that. It's added in here, which is pretty cool. Um, something I would probably never know how to do. It's a pretty awesome skin by CJ and it, it looks really great. So if we move on to the next one, which is going to be the tungsten one, which is going to look like this, which has a little bit more color. Again, my basic color, which is white. So it does add some darker colors to it as well. So with the tungsten one, it has a little bit different animation as you see here, the walk, run, jumping, it's a little bit different. But, you know, that comes with the work of creating such a, a pretty cool player model, basically. So this here, again, is the tungsten model, which looks really nice. It has a nice shine to it. It has more definition than the original male and female astronaut as well. And, you know, it's great work. It's, it's pretty cool. All right. So another cool one that I found in the workshop is one called Battle Suit, which looks like this here. And it's... And it goes with the theme of what you have already on your space astronaut or your astronaut character. So it kind of adds more to it. So it keeps the skin that you have and it adds the armor that's around it and the jetpack and everything like that. So this one looks pretty cool. And this mod was created by Sectan. And I'll link the mod in the description below it as well. So this one's pretty cool because it again, it's, it's pretty much the original suit itself and the skin. But there's an addition of the outside armor um, with the joints and it moves pretty well in terms of like crouching, running and things like that too. So, and you can also open and close the visor. So this is pretty cool uh, skin that, um, you know, I, may, I might use in the future just, you know, for fun as well. But these are some ways to gain new skins instead of just getting the base skins from Space Engineers. A lot of nice work done in the workshop, especially as I mentioned before. I think the most popular ones that I've seen was the female armor tungsten by CJ and the battle suit made by Sectan. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoy this type of video, leave a like, comment, and of course subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you. Bye.